Hello friends, myself Vivi Gonkar, Assistant Professor, Shell Intro Technology, Hitchell Today, today in this video, I am going to discuss about Parcel Identity for Cosine Transfer. So here, by using this parcel, uh, parcel identity, I am going to solve some different integral. So here, first you will see the formula. The formula is like this, 2 upon pi, integration 0 to infinity fc of s into gc of s there are two function this is the fc of s is nothing but the fourier cosine transfer this is also fourier cosine transfer which is given by integration 0 to infinity f of x g of x into dx so i solve the example i am going to use one result so we know that if f of x equal to e to the power of minus x then its Fourier cosine transfer it is given by square root of 2 upon pi a upon a square plus a square so here in this formula I have added 2 upon pi that's why while solving the example simply I am going to take a upon a square plus a square so Fourier cosine transform of e to the power of minus a x is nothing but a upon a square plus a square so this result I have proved in my previous video. If you want to can refer that video. So now based on this result and this formula, I am going to evaluate some integrals. Using Parcel identity using parcel identity prove that prove that integration zero to infinity dx upon x square plus a square into x square plus b square which is equal to pi upon 2ab into a plus b so if you refer to different books they have used a different method to solve such type of integral solution so in this question you can observe the given function like this 1 upon x square plus a square and 1 upon x square plus b square here they are here constant for that what I do I will define some function here let f of x e is equal to e to the power of minus h here we are having two functions and also g of x e is equal to e to the power of minus bx so I will write over here cosine transfer form on e to the power of minus a x that is f c of s e is equal to a upon a square plus a square and here also I write for here cosine transform form e to the power of minus b x that is b upon a square plus b square now if I multiply a upon a square plus a square and b upon a square plus b square so I am going to use the negative function so now we know that parcel parcel identity for identity for cosine transfer cosine transfer is given by is given by so 2 upon pi 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity fc of s into gc of s ds which is equal to integration 0 to infinity 
g of four x, g of x into dx. So now, two upon pi, I will write as it is here. Integration zero to infinity. You have see of yes. You have see of yes here. A upon yes square plus a square into g c of s b upon yes square plus a square into d s e is equal to zero to infinity. Your perfect sign to g s here. Your perfect sign is e to the power of minus a x and g of x is e to the power of minus b x into d x. So two upon pi here a and b are constant. I will take outside the integral. So that is two a b upon pi integration zero to infinity ds divided by yes square plus a square into yes square plus b square e is equal to here on right hand side. Now we have to evaluate the integral. So this is our question. The left hand side is our question. To evaluate this integral, so first I will add this one e to the power of minus. So here to add this one I will apply e to the power n, e to the power n formula. Here the bases are same. It will be the e to the power of minus a minus b x into d. So therefore. So two a b divided by pi into integration of d s divided by y square plus a square into y square plus b square, which is equal to integration zero to infinity. I will take here minus x s common. Remaining is a plus b into a x into b x. So I will write the side that is two a b upon pi integration zero to infinity d s upon y square plus b square into y square plus b square, which is equal to here we have to integrate. This one with respect to x. Here a is constant and b is constant. Here I will apply the formula integration of e raised to x is e raised to x upon a. So by using that formula, I will get here e to the power of minus a plus b into x divided by a plus b. Between the limit zero to infinity. So this is I will get here two a b upon y and it is integration. Zero to infinity d s divided by y square plus y square into y square plus b square, which is equal to here one upon a plus b is constant. Now I will apply here upper limit. So upper limit is here infinity. Infinity anything is infinity. E to the power of minus infinity value is zero. So this is zero. Lower limit is zero. If I put x equal to zero, zero at any limit is zero. Any number to the power zero is one. So this is upper limit minus lower limit. So two a b upon pi integration zero to infinity. d s divided by y square plus a square into y square plus b square e is equal to so here I have formatted to write minus sign so this is minus 
Integration of e to the power of minus x is e to the power of minus x upon minus x. So here I have to write minus. So it becomes minus into minus plus 1 upon a plus b. Now I take this to area upon pi 2. I will just. So this becomes 0 to infinity ds upon s square plus a square into s square plus b square is equal to pi upon 2ab into a plus b. So this is our required answer. But our question is in terms of a. For that what I do? I will replace replace output yes by x on both sides. So now it will become 0 to infinity dx upon x square plus a square into x square plus b square is equal to pi upon 2ab into a plus b. So this is our required answer. So while applying the formula we have to see this function right as per this function we have to define the function. So I will take one more example here. Prove that integration zero to infinity dt upon p square plus one whole square is equal to pi by 4. So this is also the same type of problem. So now it is in terms of t. First I will solve in terms of s as usual. At the end I will replace s by t. Solution. So here also you can see in the denominator we are writing p square plus 1 2 terms of t square plus 1. So again, I will define and here a square that is it is 1 square. So the value of a becomes 1. So I will define like this f of x is equal to e to the power of minus x. In previous exam, it was a square. In that exam, I have defined e to the power of minus and g of x is equal to again same function e to the power of minus x. So it's for here, cosine transform is given by 1 upon s square plus 1. Here, this is also 1 upon s square plus 1. So if I multiply these two terms, 1 upon s square plus 1, 1 upon s square plus 1, I'm going to get 1 upon s square plus 1 whole square. So now, partial identity is given by Password identity for cosine transfer cosine transfer is given by 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity fc of s into gc of s into ds which is equal to integration 0 to infinity f of x g of x into d. So now I put the values 2 upon pi when I write it is integration 0 to infinity fc of x and g of x are 1 upon x square plus 1 so it becomes 1 upon x square plus 1 whole square into ds is equal to 0 to infinity f of x is e raised to minus x and g of x is e to the power of minus x. So 2 upon pi 0 to infinity integration 1 upon x square plus 1 whole square into dx is equal to integration 0 to infinity. So I will apply a e to the power m into e to the power m formula into the e to the power of minus 2x because this is active 
So we can add the powers minus x minus x which are minus 2a into dx which is equal to so now I will integrate this one. Integration of dx to minus 2x is minus 2x divided by minus 2 bit of the limit 0 to infinity. So 2 upon 5 I will write as it is 0 to integration 0 to infinity 1 upon k square plus 1 whole square into dx is equal to so I will write here minus 1 upon 2 as it is. So upper limit is here infinity. If I put infinity, it becomes e to the power of minus infinity, and the value of e to the power of minus infinity is 0 minus lower limit is 0, any number to the power of 0 is 1. So this implies it becomes 1 upon 2. So now I will take this 2 upon 5 to RHS. So it becomes 0 to infinity 1 upon a square plus 1 whole square into dx which is equal to so pi upon 4 so this is our required answer but the question is in terms of what t for that what i do i will replace s by t so i put here so i will so equation number one so put putting or replacing replacing yes by t equation number 1. So we will get here integration 0 to infinity dt upon t square plus 1 whole square is equal to pi upon 4. So this is our required answer. So in this video we have seen the formula for part square identity of cosine transfer and based on this formula we also to a thank you